Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, so today what I want to do is I want to talk about a book release that just came out. Well, actually it's coming out next month in June, but I got an advanced copy yesterday. And man, after opening it up, I was so excited. I just wanted to share it with you. So that way you can get on Amazon. I have the links below. Use those, okay? <laughs> it helps the channel. But anyway, uh, you can get on there and buy it. I, I believe the deal is it's on sale right now for the early release or for the early orders I should say so you can buy it now and you'll get it next month in June so not too far away all right this book was written by Christoph Basso here's a couple of his earlier versions of uh, spice simulation type books for power supplies switch mode power supply spice cookbook this scene was written like 20 years ago yeah you know, had it still has the disc in it actually. I never even removed it. So yeah, pretty cool book. Um, black and white. It's well written. It's a nice book. Okay. Well then, about six years, seven years, something like that. After that, he came out with this book, and uh, Switch Mode Power Supply, Spy Simulation, Practical Design. And the practical design is is the part I like best. Because, as you can kind of see, thunder, lightning outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, this binder's kind of broken apart. Bunch of post-it notes that are kind of all ripped up. I've gone through this book quite a bit. And I'll tell you what, I still feel like I haven't even broken the... Well, I physically have broken the cover. But <laughs> you know, there's, there's just still so much to learn from this book. So... All right, now he's come out with another book, and they were advertising it, and a guy named Ken Kaufman, really cool power spy guy I met, and he's in the, you know, you meet these characters in the field, and some of these guys are just the guys that you want to follow because they're the ones that really know what they're doing and really know what they're talking about. Well, he's got a press now. He's publishing books, and it's called the Faraday Press. So, instead of... This is McGraw Hill, I believe. Oh, this is professional engineering, and that's McGraw Hill. But now, that's his publication. And holy smokes, look at the size of that beast. So I pulled it out of the box, and I was like, wow, that is one cool book. And I expected the pages to be really thick and not a lot of pages in here. But no, it's like, uh, it's over 670 pages. So this book is beautiful. Uh, it's, I'm not sure if I, you know, copyright laws and all that stuff, but it's color. There's blue, red, black. Yeah, so, but the pages are large. It makes it really nice. I mean, I've just been excited. Just, there, you know, I can actually read this stuff. <laughs> so, you know, uh, man, it has the spice simulations in here. So, it's all about spice simulation, okay? And... In this book, he's really using Simplus. He's used just about every tool. Uh, and you can get models under, in the libraries of practically every tool, I think. But anyway, Simplus is used in this. Here, let me just show you uh, the table contents here, okay? All right, let's cover the table contents, okay? Uh, these chapters are large. Uh, the first chapter is 136 pages, so it fully covers this introduction of the small signal modeling and it shows how the models are going to be constructed and how they'll be used throughout the book. And chapter two, another large chapter, 148 pages, buck converters, input and output impedance covered, uh, everything, continuous conduction mode, discontinuous conduction mode, voltage mode, current mode control, Again, just, you know, everything covered for Ford converters, which are part of this uh, buck converters type, right? Uh, Push-pull converters, half of full bridge converters. And then chapter three, 156 pages for boost converters. So, uh, again, very thorough, same kind of stuff. And it goes into the power factor correction uh, boost converters, which are very you know, necessary these days. And then chapter four, 161 pages for the buck converter. And 
it, again, very thorough, same kind of coverage, and it will cover the different types of buck converters, like flyback converters, and the different variations of the flyback converters, power factor correction as well. And then chapter five is actually the smallest of the five chapters. It's 58 pages, and it covers specific converters like the Chuk, the Sepik, and uh, the Zeta. And he added the LLC, which is a very important uh, converter these days. It's, it's gaining a lot of traction. As a matter of fact, I just designed my first LLC, and they're a little tricky, so it's nice to get this information. Okay, and then in the appendix, it's 20 pages, and it covers the fast analytical circuits techniques, or FACS, uh, the acronym FACS. And that was something that was derived uh, by Dr. Middlebrook, I believe, and it's a way of taking, you know, a circuit and breaking it down into smaller blocks that are easier to analyze and that, and thus the fast analytical. So that's the important part of that acronym. And you can buy it at Amazon, okay? Uh, use my link down below, I appreciate that. Supports the channel. All right, so on Amazon, you can see right here, right now you can pre-order and I think it's a discounted price and what will be uh, the price when it finally gets uh, put on the shelf. But so right now you can get it for $129.95. So basically 130 bucks. Okay, and he's got the MathCat files, the splice simulation tools, the MathCat files. Uh, he's got the link to, uh, you know, send him an email, ask him how much they cost and you know, I bought some uh, simulation models off him years ago, got probably a good 10 years ago, and they're really reasonable price. Uh, I can't remember. I just topped my head, it was like $100 for a whole bunch of spice models, so definitely worth it. It would have taken me many more hours than, you know, what I spent for to get the free ones. So, anyway, this is a picture of Christoph Basel, and you can see right there, you can pause it and read that. It talks a little bit about him. And he's providing all these MathCAD files for a small charge. And I guess you have to email him to find out what that charge is. But I bought some stuff from him in the past and it was very fair, fairly priced. But you can kind of see the example of how he's set up these MathCAD files. Very nice. Okay, now, same kind of thing. He's also built a bunch of circuits in Simplus. He's done this for a lot of different simulation packages, by the way. But the Simplus one is gaining a lot of traction these days. It's become very popular for power supplies. And you can kind of see the format there. Very nice. And these models you can just download. And you can donate some money to his fund. Uh, to kind of help pay him for all this work. But yeah, pretty pretty cool that he provides that. And here's Simplus, the page where you can go and download a free Simplus so you can uh, run those circuits. I believe, I'm not sure, if, but I, I believe you can run all those circuits he's built on this uh, free free version. And it's called The Elements. That is one heck of a cool book. It's beautiful. I mean, it's... Jeez, I, you know, I, I'm trying to think. There's probably some encyclopedias, some really fancy books that you've had in your life that were, you know, built like this. But, yeah, there's no, I mean, man, I don't think that's going to fall apart like this one did from McGraw-Hill. <laughs> that is, it's, when you open up the pages, it's, the, the paper is super high quality. Uh, I think they had to use a very fine, high quality paper because of the, some of the prints pretty fine i mean in the schematic illustrations so but even without glasses i can i don't have a problem so thumbs up for that <laughs> all right guys so uh i just had to show it to you i i've kind of gone through some of the pages that it reminds me a lot of his other uh books i think he's had just a lot more time to refine things and you know he he's uh he studies the other big people in the field over the years. He, he listened, Lloyd Dixon from Unitrode, 
Dr. Middlebrook. Uh, I mean, just a lot of the names that I've read from. Uh, the guy, you know, Dr. Ridley right now is like top that list too. And he's learned from all these people and he's, he's, he's all put it together in a nice, easy, I mean, you know, when you look at, my wife is looking at the book, she's like, whoa, like what's that? <laughs> I mean, it's just a bunch of math and, and schematics and simulation files. And I think it's super cool, but yeah. Uh, it is a book that I think if you're just starting out electronics, it'd be great to get it. If you're, you've been in the field for a long time, there's going to be a lot of stuff in there you're going to be excited about. But even a you know, newbie in the field, if you had a book like this and any other book you buy to, and I'll go through some other book reviews, but you know, I think this book would be supplement all the other books. And to learn this and how to do simulations, I think would be key. So, I thought it was important. I just wanted to get this video out. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up to the video if you like the video. All right, and uh, what I want to do is I just want to thank Ken Kaufman for sending this out from the Faraday Press, and just congrats. Uh, they put together a beautifully well-crafted book. Just. It's just fun to open up the cover and look inside and read it because it's just so beautiful. Uh, wow. Great work. And thanks for the free copy. <laughs> you know, we're going to spend some more time uh, delving into some of these paragraphs, some of these circuits. And so you see some more videos coming up on this book. Uh, can't wait to spend more time with it. And hey, I want to thank my patrons for all the support as well. And uh, you can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. You can support the channel for free. Thumbs up. And uh, using the links below. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next video.